Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video, I'll tell you how to create a MIS report in the form of a water drop chart. So here are the scores of Rambo, Trump and Hulk. 72% for Rambo, 17% for Trump and Hulk got 62%. And these water drops have been filled according to these numbers. If I change these numbers, which will happen now, I have used a rand between formula to change these numbers, say, and see how the value changes. I'll tell you how you can create these charts within three minutes, all right? So would you like to learn them? Of course. By the way, you can also go to myelesson.org and download these practice files so that you can practice along. I'll go to sheet two now where I have entered this data already and now I'll create one chart for you, one of these and then you can create the other ones yourself because practice makes a man perfect. What about women then? They are already perfect. <laughs> All right. So without further ado, let me select this data. All right. Plus, I have to select this also over here. What I have done is that I would have to create a helper column, all right, which would be 100% minus whatever is over here. All right. Now I'll copy this down. I have used RAND between formula over here to change these numbers automatically. So I'm going to normalize this. So now this is the score and this is the remaining percent of the score out of 100. This is required to create those charts and once it is done, created, you can simply go ahead and turn it into white font and color so that it's not visible. So this is a trick. I select this data. All right. Now I click on insert. I select a simple column chart. All right. As soon as I select it, I do a right click. I go to format access. And I make this as zero and this one as one. Simple. All right. Now I'll right click in the chart, click on change chart type, go to a tag chart, select this one, click OK. And this is how my data will look. Then I will double click over here and this gap width, I'll make it as zero. All right. Now I'll click over here and delete this. Now I'll click on this outer edge, go to format, go to shape fill and select no fill and the shape outline as no outline. Then I will double click on this orange part, go to fill and select as no fill. I click over here and in the fill section, I'll choose a bright color say red color all right now my chart is almost ready i'll just reduce the width a little bit and i'll move it over here like this all right and just for the purpose of this chart i'll first make it 100 percent now i need to bring that water drop for that i'll go to powerpoint i'll open up a blank slide it's very easy just bear with me I'll go to insert, insert a shape, a rectangular shape like this. All right. Then I'll go to insert again. I'll go to shapes and I'll choose this water drop from here. This is called a teardrop actually in it. And I'll bring it over here. All right. I'll do a right click, go to format shape and click over here and in the size I'll do the, I'll make the rotation as minus 45%. Just see. And now I'll increase the size. So I'll make it say five by five. Now, once this is done, you click over here and change the color to white color and then bring it over here select these two images and in the format tab go to merge shapes and click on 
combine click on the shape shape fill as white we are ready click here go to home click on copy go back to your excel file do a right click paste as picture our chart is almost ready i'll click on this image go to format click on crop and i will crop this image to the edges on all the sides i'll click on crop now i'll try to resize it to fit my chart this is at 100 percent i'll now try to resize it like this okay it's in the chart now the top and the bottom edges should touch all right then we click on the chart to resize the chart so that the chart goes behind this image there we are now i make this percentage as 90 it is 90 i make it as 65 this is 65 now i click anywhere in this excel sheet i go to view and i turn off the grid lines now i make it 75 see now i'll go to the home tab and then from insert i'll insert a text box like this all right i click is equal to in the former in the formula bar and i'll select this cell now i'll go to the format tab again shape fill as no fill shape outline as no outline and i'll go to the home tab and i'll choose the font as this one resize it here you are see 25 percent you have 80 percent you have 95 percent whatever you want same way you can have them over here isn't this cool well you can try a little bit more permutation combinations i have entered a text box over here to show the names i have removed the background in these ones you can try them yourself in this one also and don't forget to go to myelesson.org to download the sheet and practice along and if you like this video please click on that thumbs up sign it will encourage me and if you want to see all my videos you can subscribe to my channel i have around 1100 plus videos you can subscribe to my channel and whenever there's a new video you will be intimidated you you will be informed about it and do not forget to share this video with your friends so until the next video this is your guru now signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning